Good morning, everybody. Sorry, I forgot to turn on my microphone. Uh, this is Powwow Dance Aerobics. And good morning, everybody. And welcome to Powwow Dance Aerobics. Here we go. Awesome, awesome. Well, this is uh, an everyday experience, powwow dance aerobics. As you guys know, I started this back in 2020 when the pandemic first hit. It was really, really appalling and, and really difficult for all of us to, not only did we have to stay home, but we had to, we had to stay healthy. We had to, we had to stay just home all the time. Like we went from a functioning world and everybody traveling, migrating as they do. And anyways, uh, powwow lifestyle, as you know, came to a halt. And, um, you know, fortunately we had people like Whitney and uh, the entire team of the, the social distance powwow that kept our powwows going. Uh, and also what I've done here is I've actually created a program called Powwow dance aerobics now what this is if you guys aren't familiar with it by now it's basically a program in which we use powwow style dancing for fitness and wellness and that's all we do here is just simply just dance so this morning i got some exciting new um new things to share with you guys today because uh i'm actually um i've, I've found some old school music that i can use for the uh, class this morning. So it's a little exciting for me because I get to use different style music. And uh, this music is actually by the Trail Mix Singers. And if you guys don't know the Trail Mix Singers, um, they are from the small boy camp. They're, they're a little bit of an old group. Uh, they're, they're from like probably uh, 20 years ago, maybe 15 years ago. I don't know if they're still together anymore, but uh, I found their music and I would like to try it out this morning. So I hope you guys like it. So here we go. Let's get started with those warm up dances. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to do, start off with some basic steps. So I hope you guys can hear the track a little bit now. Starting off with these basic Thank you. 
warmed up. Yeah, I think that was our first song. I believe I have another song here. If, uh, if I can find it. new to me so um, there we go okay okay so we're gonna do the second song this time I want you guys to do a little bit more intense so start with the basic step up the basics of floating around in different directions so now I'd like to invite you guys to go a little bit harder so this this is about to uh, get into the stretching portion the stretching portion of this morning's program and also before I forget I would like to um, I, I would like to also remind you guys that um, to subscribe to my channel <laughs> subscribe to my channel uh, I'm on YouTube Facebook and all the uh, the main uh, the mainstream social media platforms so definitely uh, join me as I grow this channel as I provide more and more free content for for everybody to enjoy and I love doing this you know like I don't get paid to do this so that's a good sign because when you don't get paid to do something and you do it anyway that means you love it you have a passion for it and um, not too many people can can have that claim to fame but uh, not that it's a claim to fame but I'm just saying that it, it feels good to be able to do what you love and love what you do so um, I just wanted to share that with you guys and I love to work out in the mornings I love to get up and start my day and, and you know just get a good head start on things uh, first thing I do in the mornings is I have water and I immediately do some push-ups this is before I even do Palo Dance aerobics. And I like to have a coffee. And I like to sit down and make a plan and sort of get tasks done. 
It's the 20-20-20 rule, right? First 20 minutes waking up, you want to be focused on on uh, on your goals, on your productivity, right? So the first 20 minutes should be about you, right? Getting um, getting with the world, right? Getting in tune with yourself. And that's what those push-ups do. They help. They help you get focused like right away. They get your blood pumping. And the water is great for your system because it helps to flush out anything and, and helps to rehydrate you. You want to get the water in you before you get the coffee in you, basically. And then, of course, I love my coffee in the morning. Yeah, and then once I get through that, then I get to planning and productivity. So, and the plan, part of my plan is power out dance aerobics. You know, because I do this because this is part of my commitment that I've offered to everybody that has been tuning in so far since early 2020. Now we're going into 2022, 2022, and this is almost like two years in the making now of Power Dance Aerobics. So right on, this is this has been really fun. So uh, I like that that you guys are uh, enjoying this and constantly uh, commenting and sharing how this has been helping you. Oh, forgot to turn on my light. Good thing I'm not that dark of a native. You guys wouldn't been able, wouldn't have been able to see me if I was a really, really dark native. No, I'm a light-skinned brother. I'm a Celtic Cree. There's a lot of light-skinned natives out there, hey? Everywhere you go, you see. And we all kind of have the same story, right? We've, we've all struggled to fit in. Luckily, though, powwow is very forgiving and accepting, and, and they're a lot more open than uh, than our rural community culture. And powwow culture is, is more of a collective culture of uh, indigenous peoples across North America, as well as non-indigenous people alike that are kind of like-minded and appreciate the, uh, the powwow culture as well. So I just thought I would share that with you guys. So anyways, we're, we're, we're going to finish our stretching here, and then we're going to get to some strength training exercises. Right now I'm doing the ankle. This exercise helps to prevent any cankles. I just heard my ankle click there. So if you hear your ankle click, then that's, that's, that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not broken. It's just um, releasing any tension that might be built up in your joint. Because uh, as we get older, our joints get more um, more delicate, more sensitive, right? And the only th thing you can do to prevent that is uh, exercise and uh, health and wellness, taking the right vitamins and having the right diet. And there's this also, also this supplement you can take called glucosamine. It's good for the joints. But also, there's other things too that is more there's more natural remedies like bone marrow broths, which is also a staple of our ancestors, a staple food. Because what they would do is they would boil the bones. They would uh, consume the the bones of the animals that we hunt. They, they have it's kind of a delicacy to eat the bone marrow of uh, moose, right? In our culture, I don't know if you guys knew that before, but. Um, in Cree culture, anyway, what they do in the old school days, they just throw it in the fire and then they crack open the, the bone and they scrape the marrow out, right? Nowadays, uh, health organizations, they'd be uh, boiling uh, bison bones for 48 hours or longer and they get all the, uh, the bison bone broth, right? It's a thing, right? It's a fad. It's kind of part of that paleo diet thing. Anyways, I think our ancestors knew something, a thing or two about that. Um, so anyways, that's uh, basically our stretching portion of the program. So uh, what I want to do now is to get into uh, some of the 
the home exercises you can do. You can do a lot of home exercises. I know it's hard sometimes at home. You know, like you, you get you you get uh, you get that catch twenty two situation on um, both sides, right? When you go to the gym, it's kind of intimidating because there's a lot of people that are really advanced in, in exercise. You can see in their muscles and their toneness of their body. And also the other flip side of the coin is when you come home, you, know, you kind of lack the motivation, right? The, the push, like you sure you might do a sit up, but you might not do it as hard as you would do it in the gym, seeing the inspiration there. Anyways, it's a tough thing to do, but uh, I think that's why if we do it together, it'd be a lot more successful. So uh, anyways, I'm going to, um, going to get back to the, um, the program here and get to the exercising portion. Now, what I've shared with you guys before is my thrift store, my thrift store gym. Now, you can make this fairly easily. So everything here that I'm, I'm going to pile it here on the floor so you guys can see it. So everything I have here, I got for overtime. I didn't get it all at once. I got it for like 20 bucks, less than 20 bucks, I think. This was only $3. This was only I've seen them in the thrift store for like $2. And this was at the dollar store for a couple of bucks. And this was... I think I got it for free, but I'm pretty sure it was a couple bucks I've seen these for. So maybe even under 20, like $15, you can get these exercise equipments to help you exercise. So this one, for example, this is one of those stretchy bands. You use this for a combination of exercises. You can, you can use them. It's very uh, ergonomically friendly. You're not necessarily lifting weight. You're just pulling against the resistance which is working your muscles in a different way, like kind of like a bow flex, but without having to spend thousands of dollars on, on such a thing, you can get the exact same thing at Walmart or at a thrift store for a couple bucks, if that, you know? So these are really good investments because you can take them on the road with you, you can take them to the office, you can take them to uh, any place you go, really. And you don't have to worry about uh, not making it to the gym, right? Because you, you can't always make it to the gym, especially if you live out in the country, out in out in the boonies. I, you know, like I've lived out in many different rural communities. Like Alexander is is close to the city, but it's not that close. Uh, you still have to have a vehicle. It's still about a half hour to forty five minutes to get to uh, a gym in the city. Well, St. Albert's closer. It's about a half an hour. But we do have one in Mournville, but it's real small, tiny gym. Anyways, so I'm just showing and demonstrating some exercises that you can do with this uh, particular band. You could do a combination uh, of, of all these different exercises. So I'm just demonstrating three different main exercises that you can do in working your muscles because there's three main groups. Like there's, a, there's the bicep muscle, which is uh, right here. This is the bicep. And this is what you call the tricep muscle. So any t any pushing activities, you're you're working that muscle. And then any sideways activities, you have the 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 lats right here, the the shoulder muscle. So it works here and up here, on the lats and the shoulder muscle. So those are good important muscles to work. They're important. They're for everyday use. You know, you could be you use your muscles for everything. You know, when you reach for something up in the cupboard, right? You want to have the strength to carry it. Right? You want to have the strength to do normal, everyday things. And doing these things without prep, preparing yourself or exercising, eventually it catches up to you. Eventually you get an injury just from slight, subtle, normal, functional activities. So I just thought I would point that out there. Uh, anyways, here's another thrift store find. You see these in the gym a lot, but they, they have inflatable ones. This one is uh, an old school one with a wooden wooden knob basically what these are for is for exercising for balance like if you have uh, joint problems or uh, weak knees or weak ankles this is a good tool to strengthen that and you do a little bit at a time and it's safe because you can you can actually hold on to something if you need to if it's that bad uh, but you could also use this to, for, for, for just training for 
a different mode of, of training. Training for these, these off balance exercises and these, these help to, because when you're walking, you're not always walking on a flat surface, right? There's all kinds of scenarios when you walk <laughs> that um, you can't really predict every one. So if one, this is a, a nice portable kettlebell. This one's really good for, uh, you can do kettlebell exercises. There's like a whole series of them. You can look that up on your own time, but I'll show you just quickly some quick ones that I know of. So this one is like a kettlebell squat because it's a squat and then also you're doing a lift. So it's a lift and a squat. So it's a kettlebell lift and a squat. And you can do this as many times as you can take it. And this is really good for exercising uh, the knees. You don't have to go all the way down, but you can go most of the way down. That's really good thigh burner and really good for the butt. And also for the back, because you're lifting and you're using those back muscles and those shoulder muscles. So that's really good for that. I'm gonna put that away for now. And these pounders are great. You can use these for walking. You can go for hikes with these. Uh, most people like to carry sticks or hiking um, hiking poles, uh, but you could also carry weights too. Uh, these are great too. Same thing you can get with these extra. Just that these are a little bit more freer. You're not necessarily pulling an elastic band. I like using these when I dance because it helps to stimulate the weight and the resistance and last but not least here's you want the world's cheapest sit-up machine for abs abdominal muscles this is the tool this is what boxers use this is what the pros use this is the world's best sit-up machine or the world's best abdominal machine well i shouldn't say world's best but it's the world's cheapest simplest best most portable abdominal machine you'll ever find because this little wheel is crazy like fully standing up but if you're able to control your core and plank out with this thing you're, you're because it helps to build your abs you can start out s small like with uh, less angle or you don't need to plank fully out you can go part of the ways and still use your abs and you just do this and build yourself up. That's all exercising is really is. You just need to build yourself up. And also it's about maintenance too, right? You need to maintain what you do have and, uh, and you need to just build on what you don't have, right? So that's what I've, I've been always chasing my whole life is, is to stay in shape and also just to have, have my gains there always, right? because you want to get something out of exercising and and what you do get out of it is gains little gains in your health little health achievements and and it's a building process right up right it took it took us a long time to get out of shape maybe and it takes a long time to get back into ideal shape right now i am doing really well with uh, my exercise program I worked out late last night. I usually go to the gym. I like going to the gym at the end of the day, like around 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Our gym closed at 11. It used to be 24 hours, but uh, it's not like that anymore. So yeah, anyways, uh, I, I really hope that you guys are liking the new format because I've been taking this uh, new program to new levels. And yeah, it's really good. So this is a really simple program though. All you need every day before you start your day is uh, 20 to 30 minutes of exercising. You could even get away with 15 minutes if, if you're kind of feeling a little stretched with 20 minutes. But uh, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it basically. And it's really great. So um, let's just finish things off now with, um, we'll go back to uh, we'll, we'll do a couple of songs here before we get uh, finished up here. So I'm going to go back to the, uh, the, um, the trail mix singers. Uh, so if anybody from the Zorthian family is watching or from Small Boy Camp, right on. Thanks for the music. And um, 
you know, I don't own anybody's music here. I, I just, I just dance to it. And like I said, this is all free. So it's free advertising for them, uh, if anything. And it's just, you know, just sharing the culture in a good way. And always, uh, it's, a, it's always about that. So anyways, let's just get going here. We're going to uh, go into our last couple dances. So I definitely encourage you guys to grab your weights. And we're going to do some weights here. Oh, 
steps. Real nice and easy. So we're gonna slowly relax. And that was basically our program for the day. Real simple, real easy stuff. So yeah, this is basically powwow dance aerobics. You know, we did four songs today. It wasn't hard. We did some exercises. Oh, well, I just went through a series of my thrift shop uh, exercise equipment. The good thing about it is that when you do score some garage sale thrift shop thing uh, uh, materials, is that you can get familiar with it, right? You can get confident with it the more you use it. That's why I encourage you to buy like weights for for your home, for you know like you don't want the entire gym in your house, but you at least want something that when you're taking a health break, say you're working at home from your home office, it's good to have these health breaks, and uh, it, it helps with your overall health and wellness and well-being. So, thanks again for joining me again for Power Dance Aerobics. It's been a real pleasure to to share with you on this journey with uh, fitness, health and wellness, and power dancing. It's been, it's been really great to, uh, to share these things with you on a regular basis because, uh, you know, it's part of our culture. It's part of uh, who we are as Indigenous people, and this is part of reconciliation. In 2022, this is a really great thing. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, I just want to say thanks for joining me in Powwow Dance Aerobics, and I wish you guys all the best. And take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Hi, hi. Kinana skumptin. Have an awesome day. And you guys take care.